Hello my little boomers, welcome back to my channel. I'm Blossom. I'm Bubbles. I'm Buttercup. <laughs> Today, we are going to be doing y'all's confessions that y'all have sent me on Instagram or on Snapchat. So, let's get into it. I'm so nervous. So, the first one says, So, I love animals. At the moment, I have three dogs and three birds. Around three years ago, when I was training my birds, I accidentally held one of the birds the wrong way and choked it to death. Huh? In Mexico, we revive chicken by putting them under a bucket and hitting the bucket. I threw it, but it didn't work. So I buried it and went and got another replacement bird. I still have the bird's little grave in my yard. I mean, if you made a grave and had a little funeral for it, then then it's fine. You're fine. As long as you're not, you know, forgetting about the bird, then then you're fine. So you're not constantly, you know, killing other animals. Yeah, yeah. don't don't kill other animals, not, please. Yeah. Next one says, I truly miss the love and fun that we had together. I love you. Well, I don't know who this is, sadly. If you want to text me or contact me, go ahead. Like, I hang out with literally them too and my group chat that I have, which is them and other friends. But, um, yeah, I just... Just reach out to me. Maybe we can regain that friendship, you know? I'm open. The next one says, One time when I was a kid, my mom was dropping me off at my grandma's, but I forgot to do my morning pee, so the whole way I was fighting my life to hold it. Keep it in mind, my grandma's was far away. When we barely start to pull oh. it, I couldn't hold it no more. I peed in my mom's brand new car. Well. Um, <laughs> well. I mean, you were a little kid. Every little kid, you know, pees themselves. Yeah, I shit myself. As long as it's clean now and it doesn't smell like piss. It should be good. You should be fine. Yeah, she probably got like a whole new brand new car at this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me in that car, please. The next one is a bit serious. My cousin has saved me when I was seven, had me grab her boobs and make out with her with her tongue as a dare, even though I felt uncomfortable. Oh. I don't know how to respond to that. Yeah, no, because, like, of course, this is, like, a serious this matter. This is serious. This is not, like, you know, a joke or anything, no. but, like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope you're doing well today. Yeah. Yeah. And I hope you lost contact yeah, with that cousin forever. forever. Don't, yeah. don't talk to them no more. Yeah. yeah. There's no reason for you to keep in contact with them or just trying to be there because of the family wise but yeah no like whatever makes you feel comfortable you know focus on yourself yeah okay next one my boyfriend sucks at eating me out <laughs> um just teach him maybe tell him what to lick and yeah. slurp and foreplay no. you know just teach each other what to do yeah. <laughs> next how have you been? I've been good. How have y'all been? been? I'm great. doing great. I'm it's doing hot. Great. It's, it's hot. It's hot. I'm sweating. How did you start getting into makeup? Um, there was this lady. Her name was Rosie. When I was little, she would always come to my restaurant, my parents' restaurant, and she would always bring makeup. And she would always put makeup on my face, or like I would grab her lipstick and whatever. Remember Rosie? Yeah. She was a waitress. She was. She was. I don't know. I guess ever since she gave me her makeup, I just started to want to wear makeup. Who do I look up to? Who do y'all look up to? I don't think I look up to anyone. Nope. Not no, really. Nobody. Not yeah, really I don't nobody. really look up. No. Not look up. Okay. What do I do in my free time? Um, mess. Um, I, I don't know. I just play video games now. I don't really do anything. What do y'all do? I work. Oh. <laughs> and I go to the gym. She goes to the gym on her free time. I work and watch anime. What's your favorite song? At the moment, from Doja Cat, I'm a little upsetty spaghetti with Doja Cat right now from what she said, but I like her new song, Attention. Got beef with anyone? Hmm. At the moment, no. If you got beef with me, then that's on you. He's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I fart on my dog for entertainment. <laughs> no. No. My poor dog. Um, I fart on you. I hope your dog's okay. Yeah. I don't know what to say to that. Oh. Every time you post the time 9-11, I cringe so hard because it's not funny. Like, be for real. I get it. It's not a funny topic. 
Yeah, but no. the responses I get from it are funny. Are funny. I mean, look. Look at all these responses. Not that it's relevant. No, actually, some people tell me to. They're like, you know, like, oh, it's 9-11. Gabby, post. Yeah, some yeah. people tell me to post. They're like, Gabby, it's 9-11. 9-11, go, post. That's funny, though. So, yeah, some people think it's funny. Some people, like, you may think it's not. I think I'm crushing on my childhood best friends because we've been bonding a ton lately. And she's really romantic and sweet and deserves the world and loves and wants love that I can give her. But without asking, I'm sure it's not me she wants it from. I'm at my wit's end. I feel like you should just go for it, to be honest. Yeah, well, what you gotta lose? Yeah. I mean... Go for it, because then it. later in life, you're gonna regret not doing yeah, that decision. Yeah, or things happen for a reason. I mean, we'll see. I mean, how you that never goes. never know. She'll probably say yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, to be honest, first, I think you should go smooth with it. And you should try to see who her type is. And if you match that, then try to do it. I used to eat a lot of cherry broth, so <laughs> <laughs> should go um, I hope um, you're okay now. Yeah, I've stopped your account more than once. Oh. Wow. Uh, um, what are we gonna do about it? Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? I'm keep kidding. Keep stalking it and subscribe. Yeah, keep stalking me and subscribe. Um, just don't harass me. If you want to be friends, that's fine, but don't harass me. I love your eyes. Thanks. Thank you very much. This one time in middle school, my BF at the time tried to tongue kiss me but he shoved it too far and i gagged and coughed into his uh -huh. mouth. <laughs> oh, i'm sorry that's it. i'm sorry but like fuck. it's middle school yeah. no one knows how to kiss yeah, yeah don't worry i hope you guys school. laughed it off oh oh. Oh, oh oh my goodness that's a long one okay well my closest friend likes this guy i had introduced his existence to her after building a crush on him and needing to tell someone but after a while, she revealed she liked him too. After that, I decided to force my feelings away because she told me she wanted a relationship with him. It's been two years now, and me and him are really close, but he also revealed that he had liked me this whole time. The thing is, I had to reject him because everyone told me it would mess up if I were to date him, knowing that she liked him, if I liked him first, but we've gotten really close over the years and have even became more touchy with each other. People have also said, they thought we were dating and said that we would be cute or make a cute couple. I've never also shared any of this with her, so I don't know what to do. Okay, listen. So there's been a lot. I've, I mean, in my years of being in school and all that, there's always been people saying, oh, they should have been together. They should be cute. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Like, people are different after middle school and high school. Especially after high school, some people change like a 180 thing. You just got to grow through it or, I mean see where it leads up to keep connection i guess see where it goes in my personal opinion i feel like you should probably have them to talk about it i mean i personally wouldn't want my boyfriend to like secretly have a crush on someone that's also my friend and i don't know i just feel like y'all should all talk about it if you don't that's completely fine that's up to you but i feel like if it's getting to a point where it's hard to manage the friendship, y'all should just break it off. My boyfriend is a addict and I just let it happen. Um, um, I mean, as long as maybe he's learning from it, that's fine. I heard there's people that are like, no, if they watch that too much, I consider it as like cheating. It's, I mean, I, it's not <sighs> I don't think it's cheating. It's not cheating because they're not really, I mean... They're not, not in it. They're not in it. Or Unless talk. they're like, oh, I like that girl so much. I want to watch all they're constantly bringing it up yeah. or talking yeah. about, like, I want you to do this or, or this. It's like, it I want you to look like... You know, like... Like, if they're yeah. comparing you yeah. to that person, yeah. then that's bad. Right. But if they're like, oh, I want to try this, then... You yeah, know, then that's yeah. fine. That's okay, fine. yeah, let it, it's fine to experience. Fine. I mean, as long as you don't let it get to, I guess, a certain extent, I guess? Like, addiction to ruin it? Then I understand. But yeah. I don't know, just talk about it. Yeah, talk, talk about, about it with it. them. And if they're and if you don't like and it, if they get angry about it, that's red a red flag. flag. Um, that's man. I'm a cat. Oh, blank. Blank. You need to be arrested. You need and help. And you need help. And you should probably stop doing that. One time, I spent the night at this girl's house. She was a new girl, and I became friends with her because I'm nice. And we were playing around, and she had just changed into her pajamas and she threw her shorts at me right at my face and girl they smelled i'm so glad i didn't get pink eye um i hope she don't smell no more i hope she has good hygiene now yeah than she did before 
I use my man's long hair as my pew. Hey guys, I just realized I read that wrong. Um, I'm sorry. But let's just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> I understand if you um, use your own hair, like right uh, here. Yeah, if you use your own yeah. hair, that's kind of it's not normal, yeah. but it's kind of more normal yeah. than. Um, yeah, oh. dude, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, at least you're flossing, you know? But maybe you should just get <laughs> at least, some floss. As long as it doesn't get any cavities. <laughs> <laughs> but you really should buy some floss. You should buy some floss, floss, you know? They're dollar, they're dollar. And it's minty, unless you want to smell like piss breath. I'm completely in love with my ex, and we both know that we have a thing for each other, but I'm with his friend. My ex is aware of this relationship. I think you should break up. break up break up because that's not right unfortunately i had the same situation with my relationship that i had and i just it got too much that i couldn't handle and i just i had to break it off i'd rather you know break up with them than just have it in my mind that i want that person rather than this person and i don't want that person to find out that i've been thinking of my ex the whole time you know I had a Euphoria Cassie moment and humped a horse at the carousel. <laughs> Damn, you wild. Oh, wow. You I wild. Like you wild. wild. One time, this girl lifted up her hoodie to me and she was wearing a full lingerie underneath. We were in the middle of Taco Bell. I mean, if she's wearing a hoodie covering the lingerie, let her be himself. Yeah, but why is she flashing in the Taco Bell. middle of Taco Bell? Maybe she should learn how to... Slash somewhere Slash. else. Somewhere else, else yeah. yeah. I've used men for money. Gotta put me first. You go. Girl, you you go, go, girl. girl. You go. Or man. Whoever said this to me. <laughs> <laughs> so one time I went shopping with my best friend and her mom had just left. But I really had to use the restroom and it was so bad I couldn't walk. I looked he had to poop so we were right next to the dressing room. And so we went in and we had a brown bag from getting tacos. And I had to pop a squat and poop in the bag at the mall. We didn't know what to do, so we just left it there. To this day, we never bring it up. Um. Yeah, I mean, if you didn't get in trouble, you didn't get caught. I mean, you're good. That's good. That's I mean, good. that's fine. I mean, you gotta go when you gotta go. One time I threw up and pooped myself at the same time at public. Not sure if anyone saw <laughs> that. Um. I'm sorry that, that happened, happened to you, but um, if no one was around, then no one saw. I've been cheating on my boyfriend with my sneaky link on and off for five years. And that relationship ended now. Yeah. Aww. How are you more loyal to cheating than being loyal in general? <laughs> <laughs> this one says, I always thought you were a bitch. Okay. Which one are we talking about? We're talking about pussy ass bitch? Or like a bitch? Like I'm I'm just mean. My sister and I have different dads. Hey, we do too! We do too! I'm still young in my years, and I am far from death. And whether I am happy or not, my heart will never forget you. Is this Titanic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I have no idea who you are, but um, thank you for the kind. Come front and confess. Yeah, come front and confess. If you don't want to, that's fine. <laughs> You're pretty. Thank you. I liked you for years. And you say it anonymously? Like, come on. Um, I don't know who you are, but I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Is there anyone you miss or you wish were by your side? Yes, but um, I can't have that person in my life. They're not good for me, and I just... I, 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 I miss them, and I wish they were here with me, but I just my relationship with them wasn't that good you know so it's not healthy to keep toxic people in your life i wish we were still friends but you know we we talked it out and we just wanted to agree that that's something we didn't need that is it so what did you guys think of that interesting actually interesting. i didn't expect the Respond like the com responses and stuff that you get or yeah. something or like the comments or people just like telling you confessing. I'm like, well, wow. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry for the ones about like the really that dark turned dark. Like really dark. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Um. Sorry guys, my dad called me while I was recording. <laughs> but um, 
like you said, you just have to take things day by day. <laughs> yeah, you have to take take things day by day, you know, just work on yourself. Work on yourself, do what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Your mentality comes in first. Yes. Mental save health. yourself before you save anybody else, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Um, we're really sorry that happened to you. I mean, we've gone through things as well, and we just, we hope you're better now. And like we said, if things did happen to you, just stay away from those people. Yeah. You, yeah. you don't need those people your in your life, you know? Um, but for the good responses, aka the funny ones, I'm so sorry those things also happened to you, but I hope you can now laugh it off and just you know it, it was just a stupid funny memory even if it was embarrassing like you gotta have some embarrassing things in your life you know but that is it for today's video leave a comment subscribe like do all the good stuff um yeah i'll see y'all later Bye.